So, welcome back to part two of uh, me tying uh, the green Highlander salmon fly, as you see here. So, um, yeah, by the way, let's begin. So, I prepared uh, the feathers I need for my wing, except the peacock. So, I have two peacock feathers here, one for each side. I actually had to go through quite a lot of uh, feathers, as you see. Um, I tend to buy feathers in bulk and then I sort, you know, medium, long, small and when I have a few of each, of course I keep all the, the Excel feathers always but, but then I sell the rest, etc. So, looking at it and, you know, I don't gonna put it in the order uh, I'm gonna put it first, it's gonna be down in the wing and as you see, it reaches at least the full 5-0 hook. So, let me then just take a few fibers and then cut it off. Put it in the right pile. Then I do the same with this one. A few fibers So I'm gonna build one side of the wing so you guys can have a look And then I'm gonna change camera and zoom in and just using this one for sound uh, Since it's uh, got a pretty nice microphone and then the Canon G, G7X doesn't have a good microphone and no external port as well. So, so then I start with the, with the pickup wing. And then I go for yellow. Yellow wasn't really nice. It's a bit twisted. So doesn't matter well. So maybe it turns out better when I put the orange on. As I'm gonna change feather, it's not the biggie. Yeah, a little bit better. So it just needed some support. There you see. So then we have the green section. There we are. So all the uh, colored uh, materials in this wing, the yellow, orange and green are white turkey that I colored myself and then <coughs> I'm gonna add floor can on top There you are, and then I didn't have any nice uh, 
skulle Fisant Feathers today so I just gonna tweak a bit and add turkey on top I think just gonna have a look see how it goes Yeah, kind of like it. There we are. So now you see this one easy. It's gonna match this hook size. Okay. So now it's time to um, add uh, the middle wing. So I prepared the feathers. Gonna try to match them properly. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna wax the thread. Good amount of wax. I'm gonna do a few wraps with wax first. Okay, now we're ready. So matching them back again. So I'm gonna add them straight on. Nothing strange there. There we are. And releasing. So I'm going to sum out a little bit. As you can see. spot on as you can see there so what I do here is to put a little bit of varnish I use a vineyard varnish just so it secures the, the feather so just adding a little bit There we are. So now it's time to add the beam to the fly. So let me see. And both here. So I'm just gonna pair them together.
the thread and then add some varnish. Clean varnish of course. <clears throat> wait for the varnish to dry a little bit and then I'm going to continue with the sides. So it's time to uh, set the sides of the salmon fly. The wing is on. So uh, yeah, let's just continue. So starting with that side. Then a little bit of varnish. Yeah. 
this in place. There we go. So I had prepared two melon strips here. So let me just see. There we are. One side. So I'm just gonna pull down the I'm actually gonna marry it with the mallard so they stay together. So there you go. Yeah. So time to do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. There we are. So now we have that side as well. And that side. So I'm going to wax the thread and applying the jungle cook feathers. Start with the your side. And there you have the angle cook feather. I like it a bit long. Fibers in the front, so I'm just gonna cut, shorten uh, the steam. There we are. Presenting them in the best mode. There we got it finally. But now even shorter now it's perfect so let me just pull up that one a little bit Make sure. And there you have the other 
side. So, last step before it's time to cut every, all the leftovers. The way is to add uh, this uh, side feather. So, I starting on my side. Use the thread to get it in place. There we are. Just fixing it. There you see the feather in place there. And the same on this side. Let me see. I need to put it there we go. Ah, come on. Yes. And that's on your side. So what I do now before I'm starting to cut is to wax the thread, apply a bit of varnish, let it dry. Then I'm gonna uh, cut the leftovers. So let me just wax this one. Looking good. and I put varnish in between every layer so to say is to make sure the feathers doesn't start to move and I'm gently cutting off the leftovers. Time to uh, set the, the topping. And I did uh, I did cut off the the leftovers in the front uh, uh, offline. I thought you you seen that a couple of times when I'm tying. Adding a few wraps, waxing the thread again. There you see the wing. So, we need to have some horns on this uh, beauty as well. The blue Macau. Let's 
similar in length okay good So I'm just going to tweak it until they meet. Yeah, something like that. I think I'm just going to pull this one in a bit. And there we are. Oops. Get stuck there. Yeah, something like that. So I just gonna varnish again, cut everything off, and then finish the head. Okay, so everything is in place. I'm just uh, finishing off uh, the head here. Well waxed thread. layer of varnish and I'm gonna start with one clear as you're gonna see here in the video and after that one I'm gonna do one with uh, black and maybe a second layer of black depending on the outcome how much the head is uh, taking the varnish so let's start in here and start applying the first layer So that's it. That's that's how we do it. A green Highlander, nice fishing fly, you know. A bit big, I would say. I would go down to maybe three o or two o one o or smaller for fishing. Uh, however, this one is gonna be, um, yeah, uh, display for an, uh, different artwork, and um, so it's good. It's big, so they can they can see all the details in it. So. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add a, a list of uh, other videos here and uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell and if you like it, do a thumbs up. Uh, you're welcome to share my videos, I don't mind. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna figure out what, what the next fly is that I'm going to try. I have a, a bit of a list to do, but, but if you have something in particular, let me know, add in the comments. I'm gonna add it, maybe that's the next pattern. So thanks for me, see you in the next video, bye.